All right, let's check out the bar. Which also has probably the best song in the game. All right. Hi, Mo. Hi, Jade. This is the biggest bartender I've ever seen. Hey, Paige, you here to throw down a few? First one's on me. <laughs> I'm here to throw down about eight, nine, whatever you got. <laughs> I like that a lot of the animal people wear these, like, anime shades over their eyes. <laughs> also, I never noticed you can see his eyes through the shades. Those little lines and dots. Mm-hmm. I guess I just never noticed that because the game was too low resolution before. That's a bit of a range. Somewhere between 100 and 3,000. <laughs> anywhere in between there. It's good pay. Anyway, if you want to just get a drink, come over here and ring my bell. Speaking of 100 to 1,000 units, how much does the cow get me? Wait, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that guy's kind of attracting the, the cursor. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I just need proper timing so it doesn't get Paige. Paige is really attracting Science Lady's huh? attention. <laughs> It's already it's, he's already charming her. <laughs> Paige, <laughs> that friendly wave can't resist it. Paige, come on. No, the cow. <laughs> the cow. Oh damn it! <laughs> yeah, just leap over the bar I, and get the butt. I, there uh, we go. I reverted back to the GameCube controls for this game. <laughs> Son of a bitch! This that guy's band. really attractive. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep waving, please. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Perfect. I'll add it to the if list. If I can somehow get a picture where only Paige's eyes and up are in, that's why that that'll be the okay. ultimate. Okay, your roll of film is finished. Good. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jay. You're just making Jade. an album of all of Paige's best friends. As I recharge your film. All right, another pearl. Oh, All right. right, one more. Right, one more. Oh, right, right. I can. What was that? Oh, hey. That was a hell of a pose. Paige. What was that? I've never seen him do that before. Oh, right. You can kind of move side to side and also crouch when taking the picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Identify dated files. Oh, you're the best uncle ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Dom strike yet once again two days ago in the West Quarter. Without the aid of the courageous Alpha sections, the How many times a day does this newspaper the come out? I mean, it's it seems like they're publishing every time their writers finishes one paragraph of an article. <laughs> <laughs> Even before editing. This guy's arms are so loose, I'm a little worried for him. What's up? Look at his, like... Nice. Send that picture. <laughs> hey. Look at that sachet. <laughs> bad framing my ass. <laughs> yes, bad framing of my ass. <laughs> Alright. Time for this good shit. With the shark named Francis. Yo, Yo Frankie! Feel lucky? Hmm. I think I can do it. All right. All right. Before I give it a go, though, I'm gonna save. Yeah. It's been a while since we saved. So what? You got 
You got four tries on this, I guess. Yeah. All right. Was it straight up bet a hundred right away? Go. Which means a thousand or a thousand. I mean, <laughs> whoops. So yeah, the, the object of this game is to get all eight pucks on the same side. And if that side is yours, you lose. Yeah. You want to have an empty field. You can really bone the opponent over if you get the timing just right to like push everything he's shooting at you back. It's satisfying when you get it right. Ah, there it is. Like that, yeah. And there is scaling difficulty, right? Like, the, the thousand credit game is harder than the hundred credit yes, game. Yes, th the thousand, the one for the pearl is definitely harder. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Watch out. Uh-oh. It's best two out of three, right? Yeah, it is. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just gotta, gotta wait for the puck to drift to the best spot. Because the, the left side mm. is always more advantageous just because of the way this is shaped. But the problem is, if, if you've got all the pucks on your side, you don't have that time. Yeah. You can't afford to wait. You just gotta kinda shoot. Damn it, Francis! Damn it! <laughs> yeah! Maybe this is the best song in the game. This is also pretty damn good. This is a good mini game, to be honest. Okay, okay, I, give up. I really like the, the shark air hockey stuff. If Beyond Good and Evil 2 does not fucking have shark air hockey, what are they doing? Maybe it'll have like a predecessor of the game. Yeah, okay, I would be okay with that too. I also like that it is some kind of uh, magic octopus act. Mm hmm, mm hmm. January 12th and 13th. His hat really sucks now. That's a bad hat. It's a bad a hat without a pearl. I agree. Now it just looks dopey. Like. <laughs> All right, somebody in the chat is right. I shouldn't swear this game is precious. <laughs> oh, yeah, this bit. I like this a bit a lot. Oh, I love that. I remember this. Yeah. It's fucked up. How many families with eight kids are left for you to, like, <laughs> time yourself? So yeah, he, he's got some kind of thing he's hiding. If you're quick enough, you can just, like... He hasn't put his hand down that fast, so you can just kind of memorize it. Step right up, little lady. Come try your luck at Peepers. All right, Peepers is up here. But also, if you just have the zoom, you can just zoom in on it from here. Q9CB, which I believe is for this door here. Okay, everyone, brace yourselves for the best way to type in a video game. <laughs> Fuck yes. It's so good. It's just, oh, it's so fast. Q9CP. Ta-da, validate me. Mm -hmm. Validate me, I feel so validated. Yes. Yeah, that, that method of inputting stuff uh, is mm -hmm. really fast, and it feels good, and it looks cool. And in fact, somebody made a program you can purchase on Steam that lets you allow, that allows you to type with that exact same interface uh, with a controller. <laughs> uh, I forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, somewhere on Steam there's an app you can buy that it lets you type just like that with a controller, and it's, it's awesome. Sorry, Rufus. I may seem a little pushy, but Hillis needs this more than you do. People, I know people are going to say I'm butt obsessed, but that pearl is called Rufus's booty, okay? <laughs> I'm just taking cues from the game. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Rufus. Oh no, someone's having a real bad day. Mm. I was gonna liberate some stolen property, but you mm. can do it, I guess. Uh, all I want to do is feed my family, and now I'm not. 
Oh no! There is a reason and it's sad! Oh no! Oh no. no. There's a very sad reason! So yeah, every code in the game is a letter number, letter number. Uh, and they're also randomly generated every time you start a new game. Uh, but if you were to, say, start a game, make a save really early on, play far enough to see those codes, uh, and then load up your earlier save, those codes have already been generated, so you can just skip mm -hmm. getting the codes, uh, which actually lets <laughs> you sequence break sometimes. Ooh. But sequence break by playing in the proper sequence and then going to an earlier yes. save to break it. Yeah, I don't know if... So, uh, oh, this reminds me. Uh, I wonder if I can see it from here. Yes. So there's leaderboards for the HD version, but all they can do for <laughs> leaderboards is completion percentage. So it just gets ordered by how quickly people get completion percentage now. Oh, nice. When this game first came out, I was number 54, I believe, on the leaderboards. <laughs> uh, I am now... I'm now 1,561, because I believe the speedrunners have gotten to this, this version of the game. You don't say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to be, like, number 50. I was 50 for a while, too. I was... Like, at that point, I was just the 50th person to have beaten the game when it came out. <laughs> Jedi Spectre. Triad the Angel, Reaper the Third. Well, I mean, how can you compete against the illustrious Reaper clan? Pain for hire. TV's the Punisher. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's some heavy hitters. Oh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 968986. That's the best Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow. All right, there's papers up here. Identification, okay. I'll just bet, bet everything I got. As much as I can. How does he know <laughs> which thing it's in? <laughs> Is it by smell? I wonder. It's on the left. Hooray! Ta-da! You got monies. Yeah. Good job with the monies. Uh, you can play this game so much that you... Uh, he runs out of money. He'll just... Oh, no. He'll just tell you to come back later. You've got the gift. Okay. Uh, but if you come back after a couple days of cycled in the game, I think he eventually does get more money so he can play the game more. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. he's, he's scammed a bunch of mooks. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, because uh, we got that code from that guy. I'm trying to remember if you can already open that door if you need an additional key to get in. Oh, right, we can't go in because we don't have permission. Halt! Access forbidden to non-residents. As we have just been told yeah. by that friendly gentleman. <laughs> right. We should probably just hang out with Mr. Babadook or whatever. Hmm. Account identification. Okay. Hmm, 3,000 for a pearl. How much is it for the heal? The 1,500 for a, an extra heart. You can't get them both I'll get, at the same time. I'll get the heart for now. Good work. We can mess with peepers a lot, but yeah, if we wanted to. I don't, I don't know if that's great for the, the viewers. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's all we can really look at here now. There's, there's more stuff, but we'll have to wait for a bit. The regular army doesn't have much say in the matter since the alpha sections arrived. Hey, it's your friend! Where do these alpha sections come from? Don't ask me. All I know is that we're a lot better off since they took over. Is that the walrus's voice? Yeah, you think so? Seems to me there's more and more kidnappings. Exactly. If it wasn't for them, there'd be even more kidnappings. Uh... Mm. 
Hmm. I mean, okay, sure. Oh, he's back with the box. The box man. And also this cool dude. Mm -hmm. I like this dude a lot. Monterey Jack. <laughs> he really, he really swings his arms around. <laughs> That's how you know this. he's got places to be. <laughs> So we spent about three days in a bar trying to finally take <laughs> that job. Yep. Miss Jade, M Mr. DeCastelac is now wandering nude in the sun. He's lost his mind with boredom. <laughs> Land ho, Captain! Black eye! That, that mail we got, I believe, is just uh, Mr. DeCast, like, again, going like, hey. Just sort of twiddling my thumbs here, and, mm -hmm. uh... So that boss we fought earlier, there's just a dead one you can take a picture of. It still works. Great, I can start a backup. Yeah, this is just as good. Mm -hmm. Sure, fine. I'm sad we can't, can't get Paige in this picture. He probably doesn't know how to swim, though. Pigs love to swim. Looks like there's a whale somewhere around here soon. Ooh. Oh. oh, right. This this thing will also point out constellations. Oh, yeah. Constellation and planets, and the planets actually move. <laughs> well, you know how Beyond Good and Evil 2 is all about scale. Yeah. Yes, Beyond Good and Evil 2, which uh, apparently they, they showed some behind doors gameplay to the press. Uh, and he, at one point, was like, look, I can change the time of day. And no one was impressed until he was like, no, I'm not, like, changing, like, the lighting. I'm literally moving this planet <laughs> on its axis, <laughs> the entire planet. Uh, and that's how the lighting is changing. Because there, there's some gifts out there from a Kotaku article now where it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, you know, you're on this planet and we can just zoom out in, like, a split second with no loading. And now we're in space and there's the entire planet. Uh, oh, there's no whale right and now. That is cool. That is really cool. I hope they. So uh, th those ideas are actually ideas they had for the original Beyond Good and Evil as well. They just couldn't. You're do not going to make that run on no PS2. Yeah. That's not happening. And the so there was also uh, around the same time we were doing this LP or like a year later, uh, some footage got kind of leaked that. Uh, while you never saw her face, it seemed like it was game pitch footage for Beyond Good and Evil 2. It looked like a lot like Jade. She was in the city that is still the city in the new trailer. So they were working on the game back then, but they just found that they couldn't do what they wanted to do even back with the PS3 and 360, so they kind of shelved it again. For witnesses, the traitors from the Iris Network have landed somewhere on Hillies. Large reward for any information. Is anywhere from 100 to 3,000 credits. <laughs> yeah, I can give you information on the wildlife around here. Yeah. Turns out there's a, a, a goat people. Yeah. Yeah. They're all pretty nice yeah. from what I've seen. That's, that's valuable information. Mm -hmm. Hello, Miss Jade. My employer, Mr. DeCastelac. Like all the Mr. DeCastelac has eaten his own shoes because we ran out of food waiting for you. The Alpha <laughs> sections claim to be pushing back the Doms, but they're hiding the truth from us. The Doms monsters have already invaded every corner of our planet. Two specimens have been spotted at the bottom of this mine shaft. If we don't warn the population, their numbers will increase radically. Mr. De Castellac is prepared to pay a very high price to be able to defuse a picture of a pair of these monsters. This is a very risky mission, and you're free to refuse. 
Well, Doms aren't exactly our best friends. Tell your boss he'll have his picture. Bad mustache. That's a horrible mustache, man. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> That's his butt. That's Decent, what we're looking at. I guess. I trust you. There we go. There we go. The entire screen is his ass right now. <laughs> Just avoid. The Tenzat. Mm-hmm. This is my ship, Tenza. Alright, so this is gonna be the first dungeon of the game. Hooray! Mr. De Castellan, male and female on the same picture! Alright, there's a buddy up there, but we need to get higher. So Mr. De Castellan wants a, a wildlife picture, and we're clearly the person to, to talk to to get that. Mm -hmm. Why can't the male and female be in two separate pictures? I don't know. Couldn't we just stitch them together? This is the future. Yeah. We got Photoshop. Let's go. We got ridiculous mechanisms for opening doors. <laughs> so yeah, there, there are certain places where uh, you can, with the Y button, command your buddy to do something. For this, it's just like, stand on the button. We'll find him as earthworms. I love the page doesn't turn before the fade out, and he never does, and he never will. He never will. He just goes straight just, for that door or wall. Keeps on trucking. Yeah. He'll path find his way eventually. Jade, come on over here, will you? I gotta tell you something important. Jade, I'm not your real dad. <laughs> I am your real uncle, though. I'm as real as an uncle can be. <laughs> now may be a good time to show you my latest invention. Two years of work under the utmost secrecy. The outcome of a life's work. My little marvels, the jet boots. They run on homemade biocarbonate. Here's the pocket of pressurized methane. And here in the soles are the two turbo reactors. All you have to do to fire them up is Contract your abdominal muscles. It's the transportation of the future. I'm waiting for your signal, Jade. That signal's never gonna come. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he can't really fly, but he can do a ground pound now with his farts. Good job. If you want another demonstration, just let me know. No problem. Wow, why were you hiding that from me? Embarrassment, mostly. Oh, I still had a few bugs to work out. Don't change a thing. It's perfect. I just remembered, so after that cutscene happens, a bug happens with Paige's face briefly. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you sure it's a bug? I'm pretty That's sure. That's a sassy face. No, you've got to, in any playthrough, the, the way a real pro would do it is wait to take a picture of Paige oh, man. until this moment. Oh, I should have waited. Oh. So this is the official Paige shot. Will he wave? I'm probably too far away. So yeah, f just a little bit further into the dungeon, like, his face gets fixed. But I'm pretty sure if I pull him up here, it'll still be messed up. So... What's the matter? Are my boots too farty for you? Nice one, Jade! Oh, he's fixed. He's fixed. It's when you lower that bridge he gets fixed. Oh, I just wanted to see him wave at that face. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, let's go toward those echoing human screams of anguish. Yeah.
Nothing to report. It's just a map. <laughs> God, get over it. Also, somebody else in the chat mentioned this game came out only 11 months after Wind Waker did. Now! Yep, but be careful. They start glowing when you get them mad. So yeah, when you when you fight some enemies, you can have Paige do the ground pound, which sometimes can stun enemies or expose their weak spots. Whenever you do that, you get like the slow-mo thing to kind of aim where you're gonna knock the enemies towards. Like this hidden vending machine. Mm-hmm. You know. How people in mines would usually just leave vending machines and then cause a small cave-in so that they could never access the vending machine. It's one of those. It's, it's, it wasn't very safe mine. Okay, mm -hmm. another animal picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be Paige's vacation photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Be careful with those mutant anemones. I feel like that lady when she read that line was having a real hard time saying it, so she like went slow to really say it. Be those mutant anemones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if I had an anemone that looked like Paige, it would definitely be mutant <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Una materia crystal. I will transfer it to the suite to the bank. They pay mucho units for each crystal. Bravo. Well, five. I don't know if five counts as mucho. Yeah, I don't think it's mucho, but it's still nice, I suppose. I could take a picture of a street rat and get a hundred fifty, <laughs> so... Hey, Jade! Come look at this! We're gonna need some tools if we plan on getting through there. We're in an ancient mine. There's gotta be some kind of tool shed or something. His sketch is a little sketchy. Uh, people keep asking about Secundo's nationality. He's future European. <laughs> He's... He, he, uh, his ethnicity can only be described as a series of Let's disco go. tunes. <laughs> like... <laughs> Secundo transcends ethnicity. I like the way Paige runs. Look at him go. Yeah, that's why we need to set him up with Nature Lady. He's so charming. Yeah, uh, one year the Eurovision Song Contest will be Secundo competing against himself 20 times. Oh, man. He stands for all of them. <laughs> Oh, picture. Nope, guess not. Nope. Ah. At least you don't actually get hurt when that happens, as long as Paige mm -hmm. can knock it off of you. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of knock it off, hey, oh, hey. Oh, no, it was so close. Oh, so close. This is the hardest boss, the camera <laughs> boss. You can just get it stuck in the ground. No, don't be get the bug. Ah, that's the worst. Well, there'll be more of them. Yeah. What was that? Crochax, there'll be more nearby, Jade. They usually attack in groups of two or three. Hold your horses! Good lord, you'll bust a gut! Oh, you mean the neighbors? That family of horse people? <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, it ain't going no further. Huh. 
Somebody asking, are talking animations broken in the HD release? No, uh, just back when games were on the PS2, in-game dialogue just frequently didn't have mouth flaps outside of cutscenes. <laughs> we're just so used to it now that when it happens, it's weird. <laughs> 